Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you come to them. For the tarot, I'm using Wild Reflections Tarot by Y-Spell. I think I'm saying that right. Um, there's a couple things with it. There is this QR code, I think is what it's called, with some information on it. So feel free to freeze frame on that if you want that information. There's also the website on the back, yspell.com. So if you want to see that, you can freeze frame and get that information if you want. Yspell, I think, is down over here somewhere. Okay. For the Oracle cards, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed um, I want to say the websites are here in the back. I'm pretty sure there's a Colette Baron reed website. I don't know if it's at the bottom of that, though. I thought I already had this out. There's the illustrator information there. If you want it, feel free to freeze frame and check out what you would like to see. And then clipbaronread.com. Yeah, it's in the back of the book. There we go. Hopefully that's focusing so you can see it. Okay. And I use dice as well. I use a 22-sided dice. I replaced 22 with, with 0 for the Major Arcana. And then I use um, a 14-sided dice for the Minor Arcana. And I use a 4-sided dice to choose the element of the Minor Arcana. Um, math, math art fun. Mathartfun.com. Hopefully you can see that one too. Through that bag, mathartfun.com. If you're interested, that's where those dice came from. Okay. With that being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, James for Astral at gmail.com. James the number four Astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and let's get into your reading. Hello, Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for when you turn to tune into them. When you turn into them, yes, poof, you're just going to turn into a reading. Let's see what we have for you, Virgo. <laughs> I'm feeling, like, a little paunchy about it, so I don't know what's going on here, but hopefully it's a good time. Hopefully it's a good time. Well, well, well. Oh, okay. There's advice coming in with this, because this one is a little sticky. It's a little sticky. I'm feeling paunchy, but this is sticky. It's a little sticky. Uh, and when I think of sticky, it's kind of like, mm, this isn't the best, but I can still work with it. You know when you get something new, and you're trying to get that gunk off of it from the price sticker, and it's like, oh, it's a little sticky. you got to kind of get that off of there. That's how this reading feels. It's a little like, oh, that's a little sticky. I gotta take a couple extra seconds to make that right. One of those. Um, this situation, I feel like I've been trying to get over it. I've been trying to get over it. There's something here, there's probably someone that they're just not your flavor. They're not your flavor. Um... I, I kind of get this idea that, like, having possibilities and ideas, dreams even, if you can make something of them, okay, good. But if all you're going to do is tell me dreams, tell me ideas, tell me possibilities, and you don't do anything with them, uh, then what's the point? Like, if we're going to do something with them... And you're telling me what you want to do, and you're asking for my ideas of how I think would, that could be a stable situation. Okay, I'll, we can do that. Let's see what can happen. But if you don't want to make something happen, I just... Uh, this, is, this isn't what I'm looking for. Um, and I feel like whoever this is, I'm trying to get over it. I keep getting like this sense of like, maybe it's somebody you work with, or a family member, or a friend that's kind of like, they're a part of the same friend group you are. They're just kind of always there. And I'm just kind of like, I'm just trying to get over who they are. Like, that's who they are. That's how they are. I'm just trying to get over it. Like, that, you know what I mean? Like, they are who they are. And I'm just kind of like, all right, then they are. Then that's who they are. Um, the 
They have a lot of ideas. So are we reiterating the same thing? Because nothing is happening. Not at this point, at least. More ideas coming forward, but the devil card coming in with it, kind of like, I don't want to hear it. It's kind of like, I have, I, have things, I have other things I'd rather do. This reminds me, okay, I, this is what this reminds me of. This reminds me of, and this burned my biscuits when this was a thing. I don't work at this place anymore, but and it was probably like a good decade ago now. This one manager would have meetings that would go nowhere. Hour-long meetings. And I had things to do. Oh, that aggravated me so much. Oh my God, that drove me, drove me nuts. I wasn't sure if this person was just trying to um, validate their position and trying to pretend like they should get the paycheck they got or if there was some other game at play here because that used to drive me nuts. I don't work there anymore. <laughs> but it's kind of like that feeling, kind of like, listen, I don't want to hear, don't include me in your meeting. You're, you're a waste of time and that's all it is. I have things I actually got to get done, want to get done, don't want anything to do with you. Um, I don't want to be on bad terms with you, but stop including me in your ridiculousness. And I feel like that's where the devil card's coming in. Like, I don't, I don't need to hear your possibilities. They don't go anywhere anyway. You're wasting my time. Uh, this is ironic because I'm a Pisces and Pisces love to dream. Uh, but me as a Pisces, I'm aware of like, there's a time to have fun with that. And there's a time when you don't. There's people who want to hear it and there's people who don't. I don't waste people's times with my dreams that don't want to hear them. You know what I mean? I, I'm very selective about when I ex explore my dreams. And I feel like Virgo is one of those, like, don't don't waste my time with that. And I, I have actually, I think I get along well with Virgos. I don't waste my time doing that because it's kind of like they don't like that. <laughs> Other signs get along with it, but they'll also kind of like push to make something of them. That's Virgo's like, that's not my job. I'm not doing that. Uh, so anyway, I feel like we're going to move on from that now because I'm feeling the frustration from it. Like, I, I feel like I'm in that energy now. I used to hate that. Oh my god, I used to hate that. I used a whole hour of my time. I do it a lot. They did it like two or three times a week. Oh my gosh, I was ready to spit tax. I was so annoyed with it. All right, the fool with the queen of cups reversed. Be careful what you say. <laughs> um, you definitely want to step step away from this energy at this time. Be careful how you do it. Uh, because you do have things you have to get done. You have things you'd rather be a part of. I don't want to be a part of that. I got my other. I got my own stuff to do. Um, find the right way to step away from it. Be careful with it. Be careful with it. Um, and then I'm getting that with like the High Lord of Gratitude and Service and the the Four of Pentacles, which is saying hold to what you want. Hold to your boundaries. Definitely, we're not saying don't do that. Hold to your boundaries. Just be very careful. Like. It's kind of like, thank you for trying to include me in that meeting. I don't want to be a part of it. I got other things I'm going to do. Um, find a way to get around it. I seem to think, I don't know if I was successful at this. I used to try to other, I used to schedule other things at the same time those meetings were going to like, you know, to get around them. I don't remember if I was successful with that. I remember trying to do that because this person was an utter waste of time, but <laughs> flat out waste of time. I don't know if that's applicable here, but if that's an idea, but like find a good way to get out of it without you know like causing discord for yourself. That's what they're saying. All right, that's the first point of advice. I feel like you know that, but it's having the patience to do that. That's the difference. It's not just about you knowing it. It's having the patience to do it and getting that little reminder like you can do that. You know how to make that happen. Maybe do it that way if you can. <laughs> you know. Uh, if you're able to do that successfully... I feel like the right people will be more warm, more likely to be warm and fuzzy to what you want to happen here. Um, you have the Queen of Light, and you've got the uh, Hanged Man coming in. Somebody else is kind of understanding that things aren't moving forward the way they should. They like this person, though. And that's, I think, the trigger here. They understand that somebody here is not moving forward like they should, but they like them. And then if you kind of step away in a good way, but then also give your, like, if they ask you, you're like, well, it doesn't go anywhere, so, and I have things I need to do, so I don't want to be a part of that. I feel like you're going to make a good connection with that. That connection then goes to the next level. 
like this isn't going to work anymore. We need to change how this is going. So this is where it gets weird. Because then I feel like I'm, I'm more stuck in this situation than I was before. Okay. The trick is to not, to not fight it. Because I feel like, I think you were going to get sucked into it anyway. The trick is to not fight it when you get sucked into it. Because it's just, you're going to waste effort because you're going to get sucked into it anyway. Here is the advice. Which, I'm not saying it's going to be easy advice to take. But, they're saying, whatever the situation is. And you know, it's not about being liked at the end of the day. It's about being... Right, I guess. Sorry, but that's how it is. It's not about being liked at the end of the day. It's about being right. Because I've kind of gone this method and people have gotten angry and I'm like, you know what? Don't like me. I don't care. Um, you know, if you've been a part of these group projects before, I don't really care for group projects. I'm just not a fan. Because it, it, it never balances out correctly. Um, but what I'm seeing from this if you're going to be a part of a group project, lead it, you get done what you need to get done. Make it a success, but document everything you did and make sure one way or another, everything you did comes forward in the report. Even if it's just like, oh, was that there? Oh, yeah. Because if you're doing 90% of this, you want 90% of the credit. It's not about being liked by everybody at the end of the day. It's about being right. That's, I keep getting it. It keeps coming forward that way. And this is what's right. See the bigger picture. Just move forward with it. Don't fight it. Start working on it. Make sure that it's obvious that you did what you did. Again, if you did 90% of the work, you need 90% of the credit. And just put it in a place also. Be strategic about it. Especially if you're like, I'm doing all these things. Maybe some of this, people are gonna, everybody's going to see it. So if they see it, they can complain about it and then I'll have to take it out. For example, if you were doing like a 100-page report, don't put it in the first few pages. Like, sprinkle it throughout in places that you don't think they're going to read that far into it anyway because they're not doing that much work anyway. Just make sure that, or like maybe making footnotes with your name, the person at the bottom, their name, with who, who actually did the research and actually put together the situation. Make sure that the credits are there for, the, for where the credit is due. Do that version. It's only fair. It's only fair. I'm getting, just give it a moment, go through it, make sure that you, if you document it for yourself, even if it, for some reason somebody goes through this report, say it was a report, and they take your name out of all these things where you're getting credit, just make sure later, maybe when you're getting a review, that you documented everything and what you put into that report and how much you put into it to make sure it will go your way at some point. Because I feel like if you do it that way, you'll have what you need from this situation. You'll get what you want and you'll be secure with it. Document it in a way where you can keep it to yourself and you have it there publicly. Uh, make sure you don't put your eggs all in one basket. I feel like you probably know this. Uh, I got burned with this myself once. Like, for example, you want to print out and have it on computer. And if you can email it to yourself, to your private email, if you can get away with that without breaking any type of laws, <laughs> go for that. That way you have the documentation when you need the documentation. Um... I documented something and I had it on the company server and the manager who, there was a manager that was doing some things unscrupulously. I just put it, I, I had it all on the, the business server and she erased it all. I was floored. I was like floored when that happened. <laughs> floored. Like it didn't even occur to me she could do that. Like I don't know why it didn't. I was a lot younger. Um, <laughs> but you'll be secure. Things will go your way later. Um... Especially because I feel like, um, I feel like Vuddle, Vuddle, mm -hmm. Vuddle, Virgo is good at being subtle. So it's Virgo and subtle, you're Vuddle. Be Vuddle, be Vuddle. <laughs> Apparently I'm not. Um, you can be subtle. You're good at being subtle. People like it when you kind of put in your two cents, you make it known that you did what you did, but you kind of keep it on the quiet, but it's obvious at the same time. It's kind of like, I'm not getting out there with a bullhorn going, I did this! But at the same time, I'm like, you realize I did that, right? Like, 
to the right people, to the right people, kind of like people that are going to like help you get a pay raise. You're like, uh, hey, pay raise person, you realize I did that, right? This, that, 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 and the other thing. You realize I did all this. 90% of this, I did that. You realize that, right? Okay. You know what I mean? You're good at being subtle. The Virgo subtle, also known as Vuttle, apparently. That will give you rise to new fame. Rise to new fame. These are good cards, but let me just... What does that mean? Two of Wands and the Tower card. Opportunities popping out of nowhere. But the Boundaries card here is the Metal King. The Metal King. I always see boundaries with that. Things come forward out of nowhere, things very quickly, but there's boundaries. You might be asked to help with things that they want quiet. They want to make sure it's done right. They want to make sure it gets done completely. And they're going to probably tell you before you get involved, you know what, we know you're going to end up doing the most of this, but we need somebody accountable to organize the information, keep it on track, and make sure it gets done. You will get 90% of the credit for everything you do, of course, well, you get, you'll get you get 100% credit for everything you do, I should say. Keep us keep a running tally of what you do and what you've done and keep it keep me in loop with it. But you're there to not only make to organize it, make sure it works out and keep it on track. Um, keep it moving forward and you will be, you know, compensated accordingly. Cuz people like that, especially if you're very subtle or vuttle in the Virgo way. <laughs> very vuttle. They like that. It's going to give a rise to new opportunities. Keep that in mind. Also, I'm going to put a little side note. If, if this ultimately does not sound the flavor, that sound like the, um, the song you want to sing, the flavor you like to deliciously enjoy, heads up. That way you don't get involved in it. So that's the, that's the other side of the coin. So if it doesn't sound like it's something you would like, that's fine. But they're saying this is where this path is leading. It can be very beneficial to you. But if you're like, no, I don't like that. They're just letting you know this is where it's going so you can go a different direction, whatever that may be mean for you. All right, I'm going to let this go here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.